everybody, it's Paige Evans. I want to walk you through my newest mini album using my Bloom Street collection with Pink Paisley. I used a mini album cut file by Lori Whitlock and then I added in two of my own envelope cut files and I cut all of the pages from the floral pattern papers in Bloom Street. And the pages start off small and then they get a little bit bigger with each and every page so it's fun to see the cascading effect. Once I had all of the pages cut, I machine stitched around the edges with a coordinating or contrasting color of thread to add texture and definition to the edges. The cut file comes with the holes and so I attached the entire album together with three blue binder clips which I found on Amazon and then I took apart two of the tassels from Bloom Street and just attached these string tassels onto the top binder ring. For the title, I used the Bloom Street Floral Thickers to say Morton. I'm probably butchering how you say it, but it's a town in Switzerland that we visited back in June 2014. Wow, time flies, six years ago. And then just a little embellishment with a leaf puffy vinyl sticker. And then I added Switzerland mini alpha stickers onto this edge. You can find these in the four page sticker book wrote just a little bit of journaling. These layered flowers right here I created with a punch and then I added a sequin to the center of each and just layered them on this page. These pages are a little bit too small to add photos, but on the next spread is when I started adding my two inch square pictures. I have a video tutorial on how I print my small photos using Picasa and Adobe Photoshop. Sometimes I get my pictures printed at Costco but word on the street is Costco photos are closed right now. I need to look into that. So I've just been printing my pictures at home. Minimal embellishing, I just added a spring sticker. It was technically spring when we visited in June, beginning of June, and then I added a floral die cut on this page. On the next spread, I used leaf stickers and die cuts spread across the pages to tie them together, and then another photo. This picture is actually two pictures stapled together, so I created a little tab with a circle punch cut in half and then glued onto the edge so you can flip it up a little bit easier. This is one of my envelope cut files, and again, I machine stitched around the edges. Don't look too carefully, it's so not perfect. I embellished the, dirt, or the envelope with some of the adhesive jewels in the mixed embellishments. These are the puffy word stickers. I love how they add a little bit of texture and pops of color. And then inside the envelope, you can see here I use a little Velcro, uh, Velcro dots to keep it closed. And then just a couple pictures adhered back to back. So I've got six pictures in total stored in this pocket because I always have more photos than I seem to be able to include. So I have to think of creative ways to add more photos into my mini albums. The next spread. More of the same, we've got some stickers and die cuts and a little bit of layering. And then on this spread, I kept it a little bit more simple. All I did was add some floral sequins in a three by three grid. And then in this envelope, I've got a few more photos adhered back to back. I didn't add too much journaling into this mini album. We weren't in this city for very long, but I do have the blog post recap that I can refer back to if I ever do want to know more about the city. Just flipping through, there was, this was the cutest town I've ever been to, pretty much. It looked straight out of Beauty and the Beast with all of the half-timbered buildings and the colorful window shutters and the flowers everywhere. It was just so cute. I love how each of the pages are a different shape. It just makes flipping through this album more fun and eclectic. Behind this photo, I added four floral die cuts. And this is the last spread. So on this page, I did add a lot of journaling. I used the journaling line, journaling line stamp from my Oh My Heart collection and then added a sequin to the line of each one. Added with a semi-family photo I'm missing, but at least we get 
people in this picture. The back page is the floral transparency paper from Bloom, Bloom Street, which I stitched onto smooth white cardstock. And that is this album. I'm sorry that I don't have a start to finish tutorial. This is just one of those projects that I worked on a little bit here and there. Um, I do have links to lots of other mini album process videos so you can see how to make other super cute mini albums from start to finish. So I can link a few of those below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and be sure to pick up my Bloom Street collection and start documenting your memories today. Have a great day.